Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ and Jarrell. Now I gotta tell you this, there's a misconception about a P-trap. A lot of people think that the P-trap underneath your bathroom sink is there to retrieve jewelry that somehow finds its way down the drain. Or maybe your drain is stopped up because of a hair clog in your P-trap and you've gotta remove it. And the truth is, there's another function for a P-trap. And it's a really important function. What it is, is this, it keeps you safe. You know that water that collects in the P-trap? Well, it prevents hazardous fumes from entering the house from the sewer. Now here's another interesting thing. P-traps, you can find them on every fixture in your house where there's a drain, like your shower, your toilet has a P-trap. It's not just the kitchen sink, and it's not just the bathroom sink that has a P-trap. Now that you know what a P-trap is for, Let's reattach it because there's some things that you need to know. And it doesn't matter if you've got a metal P-trap or a plastic one like this, there are components that you need to be aware of if you're going to get a nice, snug, tight fit that doesn't leak. Now this right here is the coupling nut. And this coupling nut, well, it attaches our P-trap to our tailpiece. That's what this is. Now, I can tell by the way our washer looks, I'm going to pull this out of here, that it needs to be replaced. And it's just a good practice to keep spare washers around. This way, you'll have a washer just when you need one. Now this one here, that's for our metal P-trap, and this one right here, these are made for the PVC P-traps. So before you put on your washer, just make certain that there's no debris in the threads of that coupling nut. You also want to check the threads on the P-trap, make certain that those are clean there too. Now I've got a little bit of debris there that I need to clean up because I want to make certain that my threads are nice and clean so I get a nice tight connection. This is a coupling nut as well and if we slide down here a little bit to the end you'll notice that there's also a washer there too that we're going to pull off and replace as well. So I've installed the new washer. There's our coupling nut. They're going to rest it there. So this is where it's very important to make certain that everything lines up perfectly. You want your P-trap, again that's this piece here, to seat very well. And what I mean by seat well is you don't want it tipped to one side or tip to the other because you certainly don't want to cross thread and you just want it to be a nice secure tight connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to make certain that everything is lined up. My back piece is lined up with my coupling nut and my front piece is lined up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just move this bowl out of the way because it's not necessary. Now comes time for us to reattach our coupling nuts. I'm going to slide this down and now I'm going to just tighten it by hand. And that's really all you need. You don't want to over tighten it, okay? You just want to tighten it by hand. And now we're going to do the back one. And remember what I said, you just want it hand tight. Now it's time to check our connections. And the way we do that is I'm going to put this bowl back underneath, okay? Now we're filling the sink with water. We're not just running the water because what you want to do to really test those connections is you want a big rush of water all at once. So here we go. Now we're going to test our connections there at the coupling nuts and they're nice and dry. And that's just what you want. Now you know what a P-trap really is for. It's not just for retrieving jewelry that finds its way down the drain. You know, it keeps those sewer gases from entering the house. Now, in today's video, we showed you how to tape one apart and how to reinstall it properly so it's watertight and you don't get any leaks. This is Leah saying you can do this. See you next time.